Michelle from Dynamic Mosaics. Today we'll be working with glass tiles to create a petal shape that suits many different flowers. You can change them slightly by a small nip here and there. These are a bigger version of what I'm, I'm cutting today just to show out of ceramic, just to show you the basic shape that we will be cutting. And it shows you that if you have a template that you draw onto your tile, it will make it easier, much easier for you to um, visually see how much you have to take away from the tile. Because if you take too much away, it just makes it far too thin. So I'll begin by grabbing a tile and my glass cutters. So just by taking a three or four cups from each side, just very, very, very slowly. Never ever, when you are cutting a corner off a tile, do not cut straight there because that's when you lose far too much of the volume. Start by going just off the line and coming around nice and slowly. At the base of the petal, I like to take a small amount off so that it is curved and it sits in beautifully with the center of the flower. So by doing that, I keep, instead of keeping my glass tiles dead vertical, I like to, at the, as I cut, I flip it to the right, or if you're left-handed, left, of course. So I'm going to just go like that and flip it, and you end up with a curve on the base that will fit neatly in with your, with your flower. So that's the end result of that flower. And this is the, the pink flower that's on the pot here. The same petal can be created, can be made to into a daffodil with a few more clever cuts that um, create the daffodil and the orange flower. So that is our our petal shape and it can also, also make a, let, um, a leaf and with the leaf you cut it down the centre and you actually leave it apart a slight bit. With the flowers I have them very very close together because tiles should be dominant not, not grout. I cut it I leave them apart a little which allows it to be a grout river and that grout river will form the vein inside of the leaf. So that's today, I want you to give it a red hot crack and I want you to email me or send me a picture of what you've created. Thank you.